Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan visited a preschool learning center yesterday in honor of Princess Diana's memory. They helped the kids replant their garden including vegetables, flowers including forget-me-not, which were one of Princess Diana's favorite flowers. Assistance League of Los Angeles in addition to helping the children replant the preschool learning center's garden, they spent time with them, sharing their appreciation for nature and helping to instill the importance of healthy eating. We truly appreciate their time and care for our students. For more than 100 years, Assistance League of Los Angeles has been providing early education services to children in need. Our nationally accredited preschool instructs 40 students from low-income Los Angeles families. I worked around the same areas and I don't know, I just, I believe I got a lot of my mother in me. When Prince Harry was 22, he founded his own charity, Centre Bali. We thought it would be very fitting to talk about just some of the many ways the Sussexes have honored Princess Diana's memory. Harry truly has kept her legacy going. At the age of 22, he founded Centibale, which means forget me not with Prince Cecio of Lesotho. Every milestone, they paid tribute to Princess Diana. The engagement ring with two of the smaller stones belonging to Princess Diana. Then their wedding with Meghan's bouquet of flowers, including Princess Diana's favorite flowers, forget-me-nots. Plus, Meghan wore Princess Diana's aquamarine ring to the evening reception. Hours after the announcement of her pregnancy, she stepped out wearing Princess Diana's earrings and her bracelet. To honor Meghan's first Mother's Day, Sussex Royal posted a photo of Archie's feet, with Diana's favorite flowers in the background. Now 23 years since her passing, the Sussexes visit a preschool that took place on the anniversary of her passing and plant forget-me-not seeds in her memory. Another analysis. Why Prince Harry has regrets over his last phone call with Princess Diana. The death of Princess Diana on August. 31, 1997, affected many across the world. And since then, the events surrounding her passing have been dissected, and her life honored in numerous ways. However, there was a seemingly mundane interaction she had shortly before she died that was once private and has since become very significant in retrospect. The last phone call she had with her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, the brothers discussed the call for the first time during the 2017 documentary, Our Mother Diana, Her Life and Legacy, with ABC News reporting that Prince Harry, who was 12 at the time, said that the chat was something he would regret for the rest of his life. Harry and William, who was 15, were hanging out with relatives at the royal family's Balmoral Castle in Scotland when their mom called, a moment that has haunted them since. Prince William recalled. At the time Harry and I were running around minding our own business, playing with our cousins and having a very good time. The future king added. I think Harry and I were just in a desperate rush to say goodbye. Assuming that they would just see her later, if I'd known now obviously what was going to happen, I wouldn't have been so blaze about it. That phone call sticks in my mind quite heavily. He also shared that he still remembers the specifics of the conversation, however. He chose not to elaborate on what was said. As for Prince Harry, he shares similar regrets about that final conversation. Here's what he had to say. Prince Harry wishes he said more to his mom. In the 2017 documentary, Our Mother Diana, her life and legacy Prince Harry was candid about his regrets. The now activist shared, If I'd known that that was the last time I was going to speak to my mother, the things that I would, 
the things I would have said to her, he confessed. There's not a day that William and I don't wish that she was still around, and we wonder what kind of a mother she would be now, and what kind of a public role she would have, and what a difference she would be making. During another moment in the documentary, Prince Harry revealed how he had cried in mourning of Princess Diana only two times. He admitted, There's a lot of grief that still needs to be let out. The documentary wasn't the first time. Prince Harry has addressed his pain at a 2018 event for Heads Together, a mental health initiative he founded with Prince William and Kate Middleton. People reported that he said, everything can be okay, but I really regret not ever talking about it for the first 28 years of my life. I never talked about it. The Prince went into more detail during a 2017 interview for Brian A. Gordon's Mad World podcast divulging. My way of dealing with it was sticking my head in the sand, refusing to ever think about my mom, because why would that help? At the time, he admitted thinking to himself, It's only going to make you sad. It's not going to bring her back. It took Prince Harry over 20 years to process his grief. During an April 2017 appearance on the Brian E. Gordon's Mad World podcast, Prince Harry reflected on keeping his grief to himself, recalling that he started to have a few conversations and actually all of a sudden, all of this grief that he had never processed started to come to the forefront. He copped to thinking, there is actually a lot of stuff here that I need to deal with, Prince Harry added. I can safely say that losing my mum at the age of 12, and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years, has had a quite serious effect on not only my personal life, but my work as well. Although Prince Harry has avoided talking about Princess Diana's death, that doesn't mean she hasn't been on his mind. During the 2019 ITD documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, he said, Everything I do reminds me of her. What as I said with the role with the job, and sort of the pressures that come with that, I get reminded of the bad stuff, unfortunately. The dad of one specifically cited the clip and flash from paparazzi cameras as triggers. Unfortunately, Prince Harry can't go back and redo that phone call. But he has carried on his mom's legacy in a beautiful way, and he can continue to do so by taking on projects devoted to causes that were important to her when she was alive. Another report. Prince Harry announced that he will return to the UK next year, but not for the reason you might think. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their son Archie have lived abroad since November 2019, when they took a sabbatical in Vancouver Island, Canada before relocating to California earlier this year. During a recent video call with members of the Rugby Football League, the Duke said he wants to return to his homeland to watch the upcoming World Cup. Harry said, We've got a whole Rugby League World Cup coming next year, so I definitely plan on coming back. I would have been back already had it not been for COVID-19. Harry and Meghan last visited the UK in March for their final engagements as senior working royals. There appeared to be tension between Harry and his brother, Prince William at his final engagement, a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. The Duke of Sussex did not speak or make eye contact with William and the Duchess of Cambridge throughout the event. Harry and Meghan's exit deal will be reviewed by Buckingham Palace in the spring of 2021, a year since they resigned. It's possible the Duke could return to the UK before the rugby tournament, which is set to be held from October 23rd until November 27th. Harry did not confirm whether Meghan Markle and Archie will join him on his trip to watch the rugby, or whether he plans to see the royal family during the visit. However, he did say that Archie is his and Meghan's number one priority, and that he plans to get the one-year-old involved in rugby. He said, What I need is a few mini rugby balls so that I can get Archie involved with the game, he added. Our little man is our number one priority, 
then our work after that is the second priority and we are doing everything we can in playing our part to make the world a better place. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.